In my previous video, I discussed a few of my favorite things about the new Outlook experience. And while I really have enjoyed using the new version, it's certainly far from perfect. I'd like to cover a few things that took a bit of adjusting or simply just do not work. To keep this video short, I'll also list a few other complaints in the comments in case you're interested. First, I think one of the issues I run into most commonly is the difference in how attachments are handled. Simply put, in previous versions of Outlook, you could drag and drop attachments from an email to your desktop or a specific folder, but this is no longer possible. I'm not sure if this will be on the roadmap to address, but now if you want to save an attachment on your computer, you'll have to download it instead of using the drag and drop functionality. That said, you can still drag and drop within Outlook. For example, if you want to drag and drop an attachment from one email to another, that's still possible. It's also possible to copy a file from your computer to an email. Why it's not possible the other way around, you got me. This next item is really just something that took me some getting used to. Using spell check now requires a left click instead of a right click. Honestly, this is a pretty common experience with other web-based email clients, but I've been sending emails in Outlook for the majority of my career, and this did take some getting used to. It's especially confusing when you're switching between Office desktop apps like Word or PowerPoint, as the desktop version of these apps still require the right click. Not insurmountable, but definitely took me a while to get used to and still trips me up every once in a while. If someone has a theory for this next one, I'd love to hear it. For whatever reason, there are certain meetings that just simply do not have a zero minute reminder option. I use this option to snooze my reminders until the time of a meeting, and sometimes the zero minute option is just not there. My current theory is that it has something to do with long-standing recurring meetings, but in my experience, this behavior has not been consistent. I can't replicate this issue in my test environment, so you're just gonna have to believe me on this one. This next one is an example of the buggy behavior that I think represents some corner cutting from our good friends at Microsoft. I often have to adjust the start and end times of a meeting manually, usually due to a meeting starting at a 15 minute interval or something like that. This was never a problem until new Outlook. Now, I typically just resort to deleting the entire time and retyping it all manually. Otherwise, as you can see here, the time just gets all wonky. My opinion, this shouldn't have made it past initial QA. Pretty annoying for a basic feature. The last one may be a feature that only a few people know about or care about, and it requires a little insight into how my brain works. I find it very difficult not to immediately address new notifications when they pop up. Blame it on my years of being in IT, but I feel like I'm constantly playing whack-a-mole with new notifications. Now, I get constant pings from all my communication apps all day, so to get deep focus time, I really need to be able to hide new notification icons in different apps, preferably without closing the apps completely. In previous versions of Outlook, you could do this by essentially hiding the new mail notification icon. I'm talking about this little unopened envelope that shows up when you have new mail. For years, I've turned this off. It helps me avoid the constant flipping between whatever I'm working on and Outlook. If I see that notification, everything in my being is going to want to open Outlook and look at the new email. Does anyone else have this problem? Hopefully I'm not alone here. Anyway, from what I can tell, you cannot hide this icon in new Outlook. Again, this may be niche, but I think if you're also someone who tends to be unable to ignore new notifications, this is a feature you would probably enjoy too. I'd like to point out that changes are released quite frequently for new Outlook, and I'm trying to be better about upvoting or reporting the issues I'm having with the new version. If you find that features you love are missing, I'd encourage you to check out the page linked in the description, which will allow you to see features and bugs others have submitted and then upvote the ones you care about most. Thanks for watching.